One, one more thing on Colby. Jake, let me pick your brain on this. So Charmaine and I were having a conversation after this fight. Um, let, let's say we take the three biggest heels in the history of the UFC. Okay, let's say Colby Covington, Conor McGregor, and John Jones. Yeah, okay. you're not putting Sonnen in there? Okay, yeah, you could throw Sonnen. Yeah. You could th- throw Sonnen in there, but it slightly dilutes my point. <laughs> to, I'm sorry. <laughs> to do so. Because he's also putting on a gimmick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, it doesn't dilute my point, and here's why. So let's say we look at John Jones, Conor McGregor, and uh, and Chael Sonnen and Colby. Okay, four. The biggest shit talkers, the biggest heels in the world, or in the history of the UFC. Now, you have John Jones, who started off as a baby face, right? He started off as the Christian guy. Oh, everything was God. Nike everything. sponsorships. Yeah, Nike sponsorships. Everything was God. Everything was God. And then the first taste you get of the real John Jones is the hot mic when he's on there with Cormier, when he thinks the camera's off and he goes, hey, pussy, you still there? And he starts talking shit when he thinks, all, when the cameras are gone, he thinks no one's listening. Then all of a sudden, then he hits the pregnant woman. Then he gets caught with all the crazy drinking and driving shit. Then he fucking gets caught on PEDs. Okay, now, one is fake. Like fake, a fake person, right? He's a fake person. He's really a dick. Yeah. But he pretended to be this way. Now, let's contrast that with Conor McGregor, who grew up like poor who grew up, like you could see when he was on the up and coming, people really loved him. You could tell he come from a working class background. He made himself. Later on, this motherfucker started to really buy into his own shit. He was different early on. He changed. The fame changed him. He sort of turned into this heel. And now he's this person. And you see him doing shit that's cringy and he's punching the old man. And you see how fame changed him from being this like working class hero into this other thing. Okay. Now we take... And this fucking, like, talking shit about Dustin Poirier's wife and the Khabib shit. and the a very bad loser. Talking shit about the religion and just doing stuff that's just not nice, yeah. right? But that, it turned him into that. And Chael Sonnen, same thing, PED abuser, but putting on a character. Now you look at Colby Covington. This motherfucker is clean. He's never failed a drug test. Everything that he's doing is a character. He's never once had an issue outside of fighting, ever. He's never ran over anybody. He's never got caught in any fucking drugs. He's never done anything. And by all accounts of people who deal with him directly, other than teammates who get pissed at him because of the shtick that he does, like directly, no one has ever had a bad thing to say about Colby Covington other than how he presents himself as the character. So Charmaine and I were talking, you know what? Colby Covington is my favorite because his is 100% a character. Yeah. All the other people showed their true colors. They pretended to be one thing or they were changed. Colby actually is only playing this character. Whereas all the other people had their real character shown Exposed. over time. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah.